Good day. Today we're going to do lesson plan 4, grade 8, term 2. Um, the topic is squares, cubes, square roots, and cube roots of single algebraic terms, or like algebraic terms, um, and it links to worksheet 41 in the DBE book. Um, then what you have here is the links to the caps. Um, we got the dictionary words, a read through them. Um, you don't have to memorize them. Just understand the basic terminology. Um, what we're going to do now here is we're going to pause and then the learner is going to do the mental maths activity. Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm going to reveal the answers. You can quickly mark and you can quickly check. Let's then start with today's lesson. So again, we're going to introduce squares, cube roots, cube roots of single algebraic terms or algebraic terms. Um, what we're going to do is, um, in this lesson, we're going to revise square roots of single algebraic terms and cube roots of single algebraic terms. Remember, the focus is on the revision part of this. So let's quickly go and see, look at example one. So we're going to have examples and then we're going to have similar examples will then be labeled 1a, b and c. So the square root of 121. So what we need to do know is that 121 is 11 times 11 and the square root of that then is 11. Let's go and look at this fraction then. So we got 25 over 81. So what we're going to do is we can say 25, which two numbers will give me 25? When I multiply it, it's 5 times 5, and 81 is 9 times 9. So then the square root of this is 5 nines. Then example C, what you're going to do is you're going to use the square root function on your calculator. So we're going to say 46,5 equals 2, and we're going to use the function 6,82. What I want you to do now is to do these examples um, and then make up three similar examples for yourself and do those as well. Example two. Um, what I always suggest is to make a list, or if you can't remember all of them, or just as a quick revision activity, all the perfect squares. So um, one times one is one, so the square root of one is one. Two times two is four, so the square root of four is two. Um, let's just look here. Eight times eight is 64, so the square root of 64 equals to eight. So here the question is, what is the square root of 147? So we're going to make use of prime factorization to help us. So we're going to write 147 on this side. Then we're going to divide it by a prime number. As soon as we divide it, we see it's 49. And then we're going to try to divide 49 again with a prime number. And we're going to see it's 7. And then we divide 49 by 7, it gives us 7. And we go to divide this 7 again by 7, and it gives us 1. So what we can write down here is 147. If we multiply it, it gives us 3 times 7 times 7. I can then have the square root of 7 times 7, or in this case, 49. Multiply by square root of 3. So what I do then is I take the 7 outside the square root because the square root of 7 is 7. And then I still have left square root of 3. I want you to pause here and do this example.
Let's quickly look at example number three. So what I want you to do is I'm going to do, do the um, first three with you. And then I want you to pick up the pattern and then do it yourself. Okay. So here we got the square root of x to the power of 1 or the square root of x. And that equals to the square root of x. But here we have the square root of x squared. So we can write it then as the square root of x times x. And it will give then as an answer of x. Let's look at the next one. So we got the square root of x cubed equals to square root x times x times x. So what I can do is these two x's, the square root of that is x, and then I've got a square root x left. I want you to pause now and go through all of these and especially identify the pattern. For instance, um, why do I have an x here and an x squared? I want you to pause now. Welcome back. Let's go and look at example number four. So example number four, what we have is we have a number um, and then we have a variable. So we got here 49x squared. So 49 is a perfect, uh, a perfect square that goes into 49 is 7. So we say 7 times 7 and x squared is x times x. And that will give us then 7x. I want you to pause and do this example. Then I want you to come up with a similar example where we use a perfect square. Let's look then at example 5a. So what we have is we have now a cube root. Now you need to trial and test then to see that 512 is 8 times 8 times 8. And if we calculate then the cube root of that, it will give us, uh, give us 8. Here we have the cube root of 64 over 125. You can see now how important it is and where we, why we always ask you cube roots um, when we do mental mathematics. So the cube root of 64 is 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. So 64 is 4 times 4 times 4. So the cube root of 64 is 4. And 125 is 5 times 5 times 5. So the cube root of 125 is 5. So the answer is 4 fifths. Then 5c, I want you to use the function on your calculator and to calculate this to see if you can get the same answer. I want you to pause then and do 5a to 5c by yourself. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the cube roots of the following. So um, I'm going to explain it again by using prime factorization. So what we have is we have 686. So the first prime number that can go in there is 2. If I divide that number by 2, I get 343. Then my next prime number is 7. So I divide 7 into the 343 and I get 49. Then again, 7 goes into 49, 7 times, and then again I divide 7 by 7 and it gives me 1. So I can write then the cube root of 2 times 7 times 7 times 7. 
So I can break it up then like this is a cube root of 7 times 7 times 7 multiply by the cube root of 2. So then it is 7 and the cube root of 2. You can look at these two examples and compare them, but this is the easier way to do it. Um, again, is write down, make a list of your perfect cubes. Always keep them handy until you remember these. I want you to pause and carry on with example 6. Let's go and look at example number 7. Here again, what I want you to do is I want you to identify the pattern. So we're going to look at the cube root of x to the power of 1. So we can write it as the cube root of x, and it stays the cube root of x. Then we're going to have the cube root of x squared. So we're going to write the cube root of x times x. It still equals to cube root of x squared. Now I want you to focus on the next one. So we got the cube root of x cubed. So we got the cube root of x times x times x, and that gives us x. So I want you to work through these and then explain why this is x, this is x squared, and this is x cubed. I want you to pause and do this activity now. So our last example, what we're going to do is we're going to simplify then the cube root of 216a to the power of 6. So through prime factorization, we can see then that 6 times 6 times 6 equals to 216, or you must try and test until you get that, or you go back to your list. Let's go to the previous page of your perfect cubes. Um, then a to the power of 6, you can write it out like this. So what we have is then we've got 6 times a times a, so we've got 6a to the power of 2 or 6a squared. Okay, so I want you then to do the, the following activity, the worksheets. Remember, in some cases, you might need to use your calculator. Um, some cases, you need to use prime factorization. And in some cases, you need to go and write again down your perfect squares in perfect cubes to help you to, to simplify the following. Again, as we always give you some extra activities, it does not always relate to this. It's just to keep yourself mentally fit um, and to do problem solving or questions that's coming from previous question papers. Um, then if you tick the consolidation, yes, you carry on with the next lesson. If no, you, you contact us at the SA teacher or you revise or revisit certain questions or activities. Mm -hmm.